Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, in this video, I want to go over a little bit um, advanced detail of electron configurations. We want to look at how we go through the F block and then how we can abbreviate these electron configurations because they do get uh, repetitive after a while. So let's start with the F block. Remember, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in periods. Now the D block is the period number minus one, gives us our N value. For the F block, it's the period number minus two that gives us our N. Now technically, we're going to go from 6s2 right into the F block. Um, this is what the periodic table would look like if it included that F block, those lanthanide and actinide series. And we would go into the F block, and then we would go into the D block, and then we would go into the P block. Um, but our periodic tables typically don't show this. Instead, they show the F block coming out. Honestly, sometimes you'll see it coming out right here, and, and sometimes you will see it coming out right here. Um, now, for our purposes at our level, we're going to be going through the F block. The first few elements of the F block have what are called irregular configurations. And they don't follow kind of the same patterns. And for my classes, I'm not going to make you land in the F block. We're going to go through the F block. And just as we were thinking of this as a walk, a journey, we're going to see the F block. We're going to consider it a cul-de-sac. So we're going to enter the F block, and then we're going to swing right back to where we were on our walk, just like you would do if you walked through a cul-de-sac. So let's take a look at tungsten. Tungsten is element um, 74, and it ends at 1, 2, 3, 4. Tungsten ends right here. So let's start that. This is a long one, so it's 1s2, start left to right, 2s2, cross the ravine, we get to 2p6, then it's 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. So we're down here. Remember, we go down a hill, so to speak, because you take away 1 to get the n value in front of 3d10. It's the fourth period. You take away 1. And then we come back up, and we get 4p6. And then we get 5s2 and 4d10 and 5p6. 6s2, and here's where we're going to take our walk through the cul-de-sac. So I just finished up there at 6s2. Since we're going to skip the irregular configurations for the purposes of my class, we're going to hop right here. We're going to go into the F block. So this is the sixth period. So for the F block, you take away 2. So I have 4F, we're going to go all the way through the block, that's 4F14, come back to our starting point, and now we're at 5D, and we count in 1, 2, 3, 4. We end up at 5D4. Okay, now let me go ahead and show you the noble gas configuration of that. If you look to the previous noble gas to tungsten, you would have xenon. And xenon's electron configuration is all of this up to the 5p6. So to do the abbreviated electron configuration, we do xenon, that means everything from 1s2 up to 5p6, and then we pick up the story. It's almost like somebody picked you up in a truck and instead of having to walk all of this, drove you to Xenon's house, dropped you off, and now we're going to continue our walk through the periodic table. So you always go to the 
previous noble gas. And you notice that I put brackets around that. And that communicates to the scientists that it's xenon's electron configuration plus 6s2, 4f14, 5d4. Okay, let's try one more. Let's, um, let's do, I think I changed this to lead in my notes. So instead of gold, I wanted to see one that in, went into the P block. So I would like us to do lead instead. Okay, because gold doesn't tell us much more than the tungsten did. So we're going to start at the beginning. And lead is right here. So lead is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Whoops, sorry, hitting the wrong little button on my pen here. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. I'm assuming you're getting good at these. 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, so I just did 5p6, I'm at 6s2, and that's when you have to deviate. That's when you take that little cul-de-sac, and I would do 4f, because this is period 6, this is period 7, n is equal to the period number minus 2 for the f block. I'm going to go all the way through, and then I'm, I'm back up to here, and I'm going to do 5d10, and then squeeze in a 6P2. All right, I want to answer just a couple of questions on this. First off, I want to look at my valence electrons. You find your highest N, which the highest N value I filled was 6. And so it's the S and P electrons. And so lead has four valence electrons. Okay, Lead can lose the two 6p's to become lead 2 plus, or it can lose the p's and the s's to become lead 4 plus. So we always focus on our valence electrons when we're doing ions. So it can lose the p's, and then the P's and the S's is what lead typically does. Now, its electron, its noble gas would be xenon, 6s2, 4p14, excuse me, 4f14, that's my bad, I can't even read my own handwriting, 4f14, 5d10, 6p2 would be the abbreviated. I'll tell you right now, for most professors and teachers I know, you better give the complete unless the question says explicitly that you can give the abbreviated electron configuration. Okay, so I've really already done some of this, so I'm not going to do any more examples of these. Um, but you've got some here. I show you the iron. For iron, you go to the previous noble gas, that happens to be argon, and then you pick up at 4s2, 3d6, okay? And for now, just for the sake of brevity, um, this is, for my kiddos, signing off.